with our media. All right, sounds good. Hey, Weston, congratulations. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Is this about where you expected to go, and were you surprised with the, the Giants, or do you think maybe that was a good chance? You know what? I, I wanted to be the first center selected, uh, and it turns out I was. And I'm just, I'm just so excited to, to be selected by such a great organization. What was it like when you met with them? Uh, they came, they came out to visit you, I believe. You know what? I, I just, I just met with them um, at the at the combine. We had a formal meeting at the combine. Got to speak with Coach Cop a little bit, um, and we talked, you know, talked a lot of football on film. We, we, we reviewed a lot of my film and kind of just went over kind of X and O's, uh, you know, details with those guys. What was your impression right from that point? Uh, you know what? You could tell that you know how how uh, how professional you know these guys are and, and how well run the organization is, and you know it, just after seeing that, I'm so excited to be a part of it. Why was it important to you to be the first center selected? You know what? I, I've always been a guy from a smaller school, and uh, even though Colorado State's a Division One school, um, we're from the Mountain West, so we don't get a lot of uh, you know, a lot of respect sometimes uh, when it comes to, you know, getting, you know, going against other big school guys. Um, you know, it's always been my dream to be the best center uh, in, in the country. Uh, and, uh, you know, today I kind of, uh, you know, got that recognition by being the first center selected. Tom Coughlin seemed to love the fact that you uh, you broke your regular snapping hand and then finished the season with the other. How tough of a, an adjustment was that to switch hands? Yeah, that's, that's something I, I take a lot of pride in. You know, you don't you don't see a lot of guys doing that, so uh, it was tough. It was a tough, uh, tough kind of change, but you know, I, I, I took it with open arms, and and uh, you know, look, looking back on it, it was something that I, you know, I'm really prideful about. So, did you actually have a club on the broken hand when you were snapping with the other? <laughs> I did, yeah, big old goofy looking you know, cast club type of deal on my hand. I think you started every game. Uh... You know, at uh, Colorado State, have you ever missed a game in, uh, in no. you know, in, any no. in high school or, or at all? Well, in high school, I, I only played. I only played offensive line one year in high school. Uh, my senior year, I had an ACL injury that kept me out my sophomore and junior seasons. Um, and before that, I played quarterback my freshman year in high school. So I've kind of, kind of been all over the place. But you know, when I got to college, I started every game and also was fine. You think you can play right away in the NFL? Uh, I, I do. I think I can come in and contribute. It's going to take a lot of work, but you know, I think that's something that's carried me this far is my work ethic. I enjoy working, um, and now it's my job. So that's that's even the cool part about it is you know it's my job to to lift weights, uh, to watch film, to get better at playing football. Um, so I want to come in and, and try to contribute to this team and really help this organization be uh, as successful as it can be. How much did you pull at Colorado State, and, and uh, how much do you think your you know your athleticism allows you to do some of that kind of stuff? Uh, you know, we pull actually quite a bit. Um, we had you know since I was able to do that, I think we you know our coaches staff felt more comfortable using me in that kind of, in that type of way. Um, so I, you know that's something I really enjoyed as well, and I think I was athletic enough to get out uh, quick enough and, and set up some good blocks for our running backs on the outside. When you came into tonight, did you zero in on a spot where you thought you might go? Did you look at the Giants as a team that might take you? You know what? Uh, I, I knew there were several teams that were looking at a center. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'd been hearing the second round was probably a good spot for me. So I uh, didn't really know specifically what team it would be, but uh, you know, I knew the second round was probably going to be when I was going to get the phone call. Question, how important is it do you think it has helped you with your versatility and the fact that you did you participate in other sports in high school, like throwing a shot to one of uh, you know, I think I think just being involved as, as much as you can in in, in 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 every sport you can be really helps your athleticism. And with me, you know, I, I tried to be as involved as I could be. You know, shot put, uh, discus, basketball, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, you know, as involved and and active as you can be, I think it definitely can translate over. 
did you uh, did you watch the draft tonight from home? Where where are you tonight? You with fr- friendly uh, yeah. fans? Yeah. I, I, I'm out in Bushland, Texas, in my hometown. Uh, I'm over at. I'm actually at our, uh, my classmate Crockett Gilmore's house. We've got our families together, and we're just having a having a good time right now. When do you expect to be here? Pardon me. When do you expect to be here in New York to, to, to get to work? Uh, I, I fly out on Sunday. It, how much more of it is, is it a challenge? Do you think without a, a rookie minicamp, the veterans are already going kind of into you know phase two of their off-season program? Have you kind of talked to the organization about how quickly they can get you up to, up to speed? Well, yeah, yeah I, I just talked to Coach Flaherty, and he said it would be um, kind of kind of more difficult than normal. But um, you know, I think they have an understanding of you know what what we're going through, and um, we're, we're going to work through it. I'm just like I said, I'm just so excited to to be a Giant and, and have the opportunity to come in there and really contribute this year. Any centers that you look up to pattern pattern your game after, maybe? Uh, you know what? I, I I like to watch the Pouncy Twins a lot. I think they have a lot of uh, really good athletic traits that I like to kind of uh, emulate. Um, and then and then I like I like Logan Makins, even though he's not a center. I think he plays really uh, kind of nasty in the interior, and I try to uh, try to get after people like he does. Sometimes. What do you What do you know about Eli Manning, and uh, what are your expectations? I mean, you'll probably be spending a lot of time working with him. Yeah. It, it, that's just talking about how great the Giants organization is. They've got you know one of the best quarterbacks in in the NFL right now, and you know I was just it's kind of crazy. I was just watching the commanding the other day, and now I'm gonna have a chance to be snapping to the guy. So it's just uh, to be able to learn from a guy like that is it just as a rookie, it's just so it's priceless. And I'm just uh, really looking forward to to being around him and, and learning from a pro like Eli Manning. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Wes. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Sorry. Tom.